All right, y'all, I'm halfway through getting my hair cut at Joshua P class, you can tell. No, actually, I am halfway through, guys. I got my hair colored. I was gonna do a whole video on it, but we didn't get it done. In time for me to get this video out for you guys. So I'm gonna document some of what we're doing today, and tomorrow we're gonna finish the haircut, so I will drop that on probably Sunday. So, guys, I've been up here assisting on the class, helping my guys pay as much attention as they can and make sure that they take away from this class. So it's been kind of hard to get content. So those of you who have watched these videos, I still appreciate it. I just wanna give you guys a glimpse into what we do with these classes. And if you guys want any more knowledge on that, check out i'll put the link in the description but i think it is barbara josh op academy.com or something like that but i'll put the link down low i'll put it on the screen if you guys want to check it out really just wanted to show you guys what i've been doing all week i'll be back to the shop and regular scheduled stuff and i'll let you guys know i got those new gamma or stylecraft whoever put them out they're sitting at the shop so as soon as i get back i'll be doing an unboxing you guys can check that out but check out what we're doing today at the class when you're dealing with this long ahead especially when a lot of people aren't used to dealing with all the time this is going to be hard regardless. So the fact that you guys are moving through it and getting used to the process whilst using longer hair is for me huge because you've all moved through it very, very well. I didn't really find anyone who struggled to move through the process and understand how it was working and why, right? Because you're looking at a lot of hair. Firstly, that, I mean, that, that's down to take, take some confidence from that. Take a lot of confidence from that because genuinely you're all doing really, really well. Now, when it comes down to some of the things that we saw, right? So one of the key things that we definitely saw at first was the idea that not everybody, and again, this is never aimed at anyone specific, it's aimed at, the class in general, but more so the world in general when we look at this process. Not everybody at first gets exactly where you're supposed to put it out from. You understand it when you watch it, but when you go to do it, because you're looking at this hair a lot of the time, a lot of time you automatically pull off of here, off of the round of the head. And so the hair that you're actually controlling is, remember we said, right, within our transition zones, if I put that on the head, when you're gonna use your comb, right, look at the mechanics of your comb. I wanna put the comb in, right, whatever the comb parallel to is what it will control. So if I hold the comb like this to start with, I'm gonna automatically run off the head. If I'm pressed, because if you're, like your natural reaction is to press on the head, right? That's how you go down the head shape. And if I press this on the head, what's gonna happen is, because the head drops off here, I'm gonna come out like that, right? So let's say, for example, I'm gonna take maybe that much hair off, right? Take that much hair off from this area. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna let go of the hair. I'm not gonna let go of the hair, why? Because now the hair catches the comb going around. The hair catches the comb going around, so I know every time I pull out to the right height because I can still just go on the head pull out at the right height. Once you go through, one of the things we found is people will cut and then they'll let go of the hair, right? And then you try to pick back up again. But every time, then you're working onto a different, potentially different tension, slightly different direction, right? What I'm gonna do is every time I section, I'm gonna pull out section, I'm gonna cut the whole way down my section in the line that I want. So this is where it, began, it begins to change a little bit because this is where a lot of people would section say to here, a lot of people stop and cut this before carrying on the section. The first thing we'd always say is make sure you, if you're going to section, you section the whole way down your section. Now, one of the things that I think we talked about it is some people, when they started doing this, got caught into doing either vertical lines or diagonal to horizontal. Now, what we need to remember is that whatever our section is on the sides, right? Whatever we do as our section on the sides, that is just our map. Because naturally, you're going to work, your comb goes in parallel to your section. That's how you would naturally pick up the hair. And because you do that, your fingers pick up parallel to your comb. Your scissors go parallel to your fingers. So in reality, if you want to work as naturally as possible, which is what we want to try and do, we need to remember that everything that we're going to do is going to work parallel to our section. As we go through now, what we then start to find happens a lot is as we start to get towards the round or the back of the head and it starts to round a little bit, we tend to find that people, because first of all, people aren't tilting the head over, right? When you suddenly it's like this, right? Because the client's sat up right. What's your natural reaction is to pull this. But we're not trying to find that guy from here. We're trying to cut from the parietal down at the angle we want. And this is allowing us to create a haircut that's gonna get longer at the neck. Just working down into that length that's at the bottom. And again, then as we, as we said, once you get to the round of the head, what you gotta remember is that as we get past the, to this point, what's gonna happen? Our guy is technically gonna appear lower in the head. The reason I want to just go through this is because what I want to do is allow you guys to go through as naturally as possible and then come through and recap over what we did and what we saw. Because again, one of the key things in improving and growing sometimes is allowing yourself carefree almost to make mistakes. You need to do stuff where you're not doing it quite right so that you can perfect, you can work on that and get it into your head exactly what you want to do. So one of the best things, and I think we were talking about this earlier, one of the best things I would advise people to do is record yourself doing a haircut and watch it back. Because that's where you start to see mechanics. You'll watch things and go, why didn't I move? I should have moved. Or you'll also watch things and go, sick. Like I did that and I can see that it works. Right? So you'll start to be more aware and conscious of what you do and why you do it. It's looking nice, flows nicely. And as we said, 
like one of the things that I would often do with the back now, right? Because again, the customer, when they want to heat, like feel it and see it around the nape, if we look at the back of the head, obviously it happens on the other side, but as we come it down right now, if it's in the two diagonal lines, you'll see that we come it straight back, you'll get a point where there's you get a short bit here and it starts to drop off, right? So from the side, if I want this to look like a curve around the nape, Right? It doesn't look too flush because you can't really see anything here that looks like a border, like a line. It just looks like it drops into the bottom and it's nice and loose, right? Now for some clients that'll be good, but for me to get the real like kind of assertiveness and masculinity to the haircut, what I would do is I would take that straight line through here then and either razor or cut or, or just point cut off a straight line from here to here. All right, let's check out some of these, some of these mannequins. Yeah. What you got going on over here? Yeah, oh, first method, you know. I didn't know how to do this before, now I know. That's the class right there. Now you know. Meant to do. Now you know. <laughs> now you know. Vince doing a little, a little long shaggy. Oh. I thought the face was back here. <laughs> got to got to cover it up. Nick going crazy. Going crazy. Man. I'm I'm going home and practicing this style as soon as I get home. Fire. Well, you trying to do your own haircut on, on the mannequin? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, 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 you